Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals. And for this very special episode, we will be featuring the Extinct Bricks Star Wars board. These little creatures are so cute. Well, let's hear it from the making of our board. So we have here uh, a Lego shell, uh, eggshell, I mean, and we're going to drill here and use this Dremel to create a hole on the egg. So of course we're going to take off uh, some of the excess plastic over here. And then we're going to take this uh, fried chicken <laughs> and we're going to attach that on the egg. Of course we're going to use the uh, legs here or the feet oops, of our small raptors and we will be attaching that on the egg. And here is how it's going to look like so far. So, fried chicken, egg, and the feet. So those are our three uh, main uh, parts that we will be using in making this board. So here they are so far as you can see here. We managed to use some durable tools on the uh, fried chicken head. And uh, we also use Dremel to create that gap on the legs. Now it's time for us to paint. Okay, so this is an easy one because we just have a few colors over here. We primed it with white. We colored uh, the rest with gray. And now we're putting in the eyes on our pork. So the pork has really large cute eyes. And uh, this is just brown. And then later on, we're going to put in some details on this one. So once that is dried, we uh, colored some orange on the um, half of the face. And then now we're uh, putting in some colors on the legs of the pork. So the pork would have a similar colors as that of the, what do you call that, the penguin. So we're uh, just uh, putting in the details on the pork. So here is how I painted the uh, orange colors. This is actually a mixture of red, a little bit of yellow, and some white. And we're painting this on the uh, head section of our board here. So we let it up dry and then we put on or we included several details on the face as well as the other parts of the board. And that's it for our making on our part. We just continue on with the paint and put in some details. We let it dry and then we put in some primer on it. Or I mean um, uh, lacquer thinner so that it won't scratch on anything. And here are the winners of our guest's PC contest. Luigi Abadilia, Extinct Creatures, Spec. Hightech Channel, BF Bricks, Shower Raptor, Starkiller 3111, Rainmark, 11 years old boy, Hazelin, and Thery the Mr. Therisinosaurus. Congratulations everyone, and here are our top 10 winners! Victor Gabriel, Power Ranger Legacy Tournament. Gabriel Elkins Luke and Family Videos Lego Darkness World Dino Beast Crusacious Bricks Gorgo Trebek Shandy Salat Sabat Hakim and Connor Fred, congratulations everyone! And I'll see you in the next Kisses PC contest for those of you who'd like to join here. So, just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and pull it to the Extinct Bricks homepage. And the homepage, just click on the community link to see all our boats. And here is a closer look on our board. Hello, guys, and you can see now that I'm wearing a costume over a costume. <laughs> well, that's just funny because today we will be featuring one of the funniest and also one of the cutest creatures from Star Wars. And these are the Stink Breaks Star Wars Porn. 
Now, this is quite uh, an easy custom, I would say, for for most of the parts because this is actually made up of several um, uh, several parts from hey, the usual uh, uh, Lego parts that we have lying around. Alright, so, well, let's move along with the closer look of these boards because you might be surprised and you might want to make one of yourself. Well, let's move along with the first one. So, we have here a board. I made three so that there would be variants in terms of color and also um, expression because boards are really cute. They have these really large eyes um, and human-like features like the, the mouth and also nostrils and then uh, they they do resemble penguins but uh, the face really doesn't because uh, it looks like a mammal of some sort but yeah so nonetheless these are the four creatures that I had made and you can see here that the bottom part is actually made from a uh, baby raptor over here so the feet are made from baby raptors I know they're quite large and it's okay because um, uh, it looks really cute uh, when, 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 when using these parts instead of the usual, you know, um, uh, studs that we can get from, from these ones. And you can actually separate them into two feet. And also, these have uh, wings like those different, I, I mean, similar to a penguin. And also a head here that is from a, uh, would you say it's a fried chicken. <laughs> so... The, the, the fried chicken here um, head is uh, what do you call this um, I just took out the uh, the drumstick over here and cut it and then reshaped it in a way that it would look round and I just drew in some details of the eyes the nose here and also the uh, <clears throat> the mouth and also colored it uh, accordingly uh, very similar to that of a pork now if you're going to ask if this has articulations actually it doesn't but uh, well, when I made this I wanted for the head to at least turn so you can turn the head uh, towards the right towards the left as well like so or more yeah like so uh, because this is actually removable but other than that there is no other articulation to this figure and it's okay I guess because it's a fairly small figure and oops sorry and uh it takes away the cuteness if you're going to um uh just just do a uh, a build on it or an moc although if it works for you then it works for you all right well that is our porg now you do you have here several expressions on the porg one one here um has a frowning face is is more of a neutral one and this is the I don't know shouting or talking <laughs> uh, Borg as you can see here three different variants for you guys all right and that is the closer look on our Borg I hope you enjoyed this one and um, inspired you to make one of your own or mainly like this <laughs> right so let's move along with the next portion of this video which is size comparisons and here we have here our Stormtrooper EB with a tail <laughs> uh, and uh, T-Rex costume and uh, with his back for some size comparisons and if you're going to at least put um, EB here beside our uh, board here on the same line I guess you can see that the board is much smaller than our um, minifigure here and it's comparable to the actual size of the pork over here as you can see here all right so well let's move along with comparisons with other creatures that i have so far here on the channel all right so uh first up let's compare with uh, a regular chicken from from lego so i have here a lego chicken yeah and uh, if you're going to start the chicken here it's a bit taller than the chicken of course but same as the chicken it's really cute <laughs> so pork versus chicken who would win <laughs> so uh next one would be something that i made just recently which is also from the star wars series this is our 
a uh, reek. So the reek is one of those creatures that Anakin Skywalker and uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, um, uh, what do you call that, um, chained <laughs> or uh, or mounted on uh, in the Clone Wars uh, movie of uh, Star Wars, and that's actually one of those favorite um, movie scenes where our uh, creatures from different planets would actually interact with the. Uh, with the characters of Star Wars and uh, that is one of my favorite scenes so uh, I made this one probably going to make um, two others um, Hackley and also uh, uh, what's the name of the other one the the lion dragon something like that so probably will be doing those but please let me know in the comments below if you'd like for me to do that but uh, probably soon we'll be coming back to dinosaurs as well because I miss doing those Right, so this is our reek uh, compared to our um, small small porgs over here. So really cute and I don't know if it's going to eat it, but this is a herbivore I believe, so no. <laughs> well, moving along, moving along with our next comparison would be some of the birds that we have for extinct bricks, which is, uh, and also Ibitoy Universe. So I'm going to show first um, these Argentavis. So the Argentavis is uh uh one of the largest uh, flying uh flying birds or raptors that we have so far uh, that live in, on uh, on this planet and uh look at this sheer size of it so it's almost as large as uh as uh, an ostrich <laughs> a flying ostrich if you may so that is the argentavis guys it has actually um, two sets of wings one that is folded here and one that is um, uh, flying wing so if you haven't checked out the uh, Argentavis on my channel please do check it out it is a cool costume and you might want to you know make one yourself as well we also have here our giant moa oops it's so giant it can't be seen on the screen so let's just adjust first the camera there you go so our giant moa here is a really tall bird and I'm, I'm not sure if it's the the largest so far but if there would be something larger than this probably I'll also be making that so this is the giant moa very it's like a mix between a rhea and a cassowary so as you can see here so yeah with large legs and feet up next would be uh, the Forest Rakus. So the Forest Rakus is one of my oldest, oldest ever uh, creations on this channel. So there's a lot of uh, rudimentary design on this, as you can see here. Uh, but nonetheless, I still like the overall design of how I made this one. Uh, uh, Could have changed the legs, you know, because um, Forest Rakus won't have three articulations like that so uh, but nonetheless I still like it so uh, comparing our first breakers here and our little porgs over there definitely this is much much larger and also one of the larger uh, larger creatures of um, uh, that live on earth which is already extinct would be the Kalenken so EB Toy Universe have actually created a Kalenken level 40 from uh, for, for EB Toy Universe channel and as you can see here it has the same colors and also the same oops sorry the same um, overall look of the creature so it has blues violets pinks and of course uh, gray and white so Kalenken guys so please check out this is channel there's a lot of cool um, customs over there and you might want to uh, hover through them and take a look at them and lastly we have our dodo so our dodo here is also one of my um, oldest oldest um, creations but uh, still oldie but goodie as you can see here it's almost the same size as our um, or it's about a bit taller because it has this long neck to it but nonetheless they share the same um, base figures uh, for the feet 
Uh, the base figure on this one is, of course, different because it's made of eggs. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for the size comparisons, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll be moving on to comparisons with different Lego-like or Lego-compatible figures, uh, animal figures. That is. So we have first our Ponton over here. So you can see it's also larger than our. Um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, boards and really cute as well. So, um, watch out for a few of my videos that will be coming up on the Star Wars series. Probably will just be making several um, fixes on, on the existing figure, probably adding several articulations to it to make it or to improve its playability. So, including the font part, right? Uh, also, we have our uh, Dubak, <laughs> it's so cute. So um, the Dubak here also needs some, uh, not help, but um, some uh, some loving touch from Extinct Break. So we'll probably also make some improvements to the Dubak uh, guys. So watch out for that video as well. So another and one of the scariest um, figures of. Star Wars series would be the Rancor. So we have here our Rancor over here. So although this is a very impressive figure, it may need some, you know, uh, uh, improvements, I guess, in terms of uh, articulation as well as design from Extinct Breaks. We'll see what we can do. And um, uh, I'll see you on uh, uh, when I uh, post those uh, videos guys so please watch out for that and uh, do let me know in the comments below if you're excited as well as I am uh, in terms of including these types of um, work or rework uh, here on this channel right so that's it for the um, uh, comparisons or size comparisons videos with the ports let's now move along with Stink Breaks PC Rockle and we have here uh, the creatures that I have so far in my collections that are from the uh, uh, Star Wars um, trilogy or what do you call that franchise <laughs> and um, so looking forward to expanding this collection but um, of course my fans come first if you'd like to uh, see this um, uh, this type of collection from Exynchrics then please let me know in the comments below okay all right so um also uh, eb here uh, on his stormtrooper head uh, helmet um would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is actually available in our extinct fix playlist but i will also be placing in individual links of all that you see here so that you won't have to go through all of the um uh, uh the uploads that i've done so far here on this channel and also in eb toy universe channel all right so let's start with our um, Extinct Breaks <coughs> uh, Species Roco. Let's start with this one. This is the Extinct Breaks Dodo. We have here our Extinct Breaks. Uh, oh no, Ibito Universe Kalenken, level 40 from Jurassic World again. This is our Extinct Breaks Argent Chavez. This is our Extinct Breaks Forest Rakes. This is our Extinct Breaks Giant Moa. This is our Extinct Breaks uh, Star Wars Clone Wars Week. We also have here a few figures that I just bought recently. These are Lego compatible figures. This is the Dubak, the Rancor and the Tauntan and of course the start to show here this is our little fellows kit kit ones our stink bricks star wars boards and that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you on the next again maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat and if you happen to like this video please like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell Bye guys!
Also, please do not forget to support our other channels, Ibitso Universe and The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please watch our videos and support our channel by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner Dino Brick roar! Thanks everyone and bye!